So Wanda is a very small film from uh, from 1970, uh, directed by Barbara uh, <coughs> Barbara Loden, and uh, and essentially kind of like a almost kind of like a like a, a female drifter film. Uh, you have uh, Loden playing uh, playing Wanda, this woman who's living in this kind of town that's you know kind, kind of like a you know like the the Rust Belt. Uh, she's in a town that's all about you know just like coal mining. It's a fairly kind of dreary and dirty type of town. And she just finds herself drifting in and out of life. I mean, she uh, she she has kind of like a life where she has a husband, she has children, um, but she she re she's really not that in love with her husband. She really doesn't care for her kids at all, and she just she just kind of wants an escape. But the the problem is that she can't really find much of an escape here. Um, like she tries to you know distance herself from her husband and her kids and go off and try to find another man. But the thing is, most of the men she ends up going with either kind of like desert her or they turn out to be bad news like she tries to hook up with one guy and she just kind of just kind of leaves her and then later she hooks up uh at a bar she hooks up with the the main guy who we follow for the most of the film uh played by michael higgins who is a um who's robbing a bar like she's in the bar one night and he just comes in to rob it and she just ends up following him and at first she seems like you know like she's aloof like she doesn't quite know what's going on but when she actually figures out that this guy um is kind of a is is a criminal she's just like eh, whatever you know i I'll, I'll just go with it because you know what, what what else have i got in life you know i she, she feels like she's very nihilistic she feels like th there's there's nothing much in life but you know maybe maybe i can find something with this guy you know maybe maybe there's more to it and it's not just because she has like a one night stand she feels like you know maybe, maybe there is an escape here um but i like the fact that the film it never quite goes like that extra length of either either making it like an escape or like you know her life improves or making it go completely downhill where where you know their their robberies eventually lead to their eventual arrest and demise if you will uh here it kind of leads down a path where where wanda just kind of finds herself still kind of lingering um which just kind of this emptiness in her life where she's just kind of just she's still drifting like she feels like you know, the, the, like there's no one she could trust. Like there's nobody she can confide in. Like there is no escape from the world that that she feels like like hasn't you know hasn't turned out the way that she wanted to, and just becomes almost kind of like this ghost who just kind of just just like drifts in and out of the world, and like kind of comes back into it uh, when whenever she kind of feels like it, um, which is which is very <laughs> very seldom. Um, it, it's, it's very much like, like I said, it's an independent film from 1970. Um, so it's, it's very much, it, it, it's, it's very much like, it, it feels like a film that was kind of shot fairly quickly and with, with actors who aren't used to being actors. You can tell that because a lot of the dialogue here, it feels a little bit stiff. Like they just plucked people from the region and just had them read off a few lines of dialogue. Um, but there's actually something kind of charming about that, too, where it feels very much kind of like a little bit lived in, even if it does feel a little bit stiff, um, where we kind of like where we kind of become used to the world um, a little bit more through through its kind of like genuine nature, if that if that makes any sense. Um, but but Loden, she she does provide like a great performance here. I love the fact that kind of Michael Higgins has this very stern nature to him as uh, this criminal Norman who kind of teams up with Barbara for these heist operations. Um, and and I love how kind of contemplative it feels. Like there there's there's several quiet moments where like you know where they're just like kind of looking at the sunset, uh, or they're sharing just a quiet moment while eating a sandwich. Just like these very very small moments where you get to see just a little just not a lot just a tiny bit of joy uh within wanda's eyes um and i and, and i love the fact that the film almost comes off very very understated in that there is no long-winded rant that wanda gives you know she's she's too weary from the rest of the world to you know to, to go out on that big rant against like how like she feels like she's been wronged in life she doesn't have to say it we just look at her face we look at her situation we look at where she lives and we just we we feel everything that she's feeling here that it perfectly communicates this very complicated and tragic character 